123 to 125 is what it's shooting right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the leather pieces off <clears throat> and retie this string just through the loops right here and uh, cut about half of this band weight off. So here we go with the first phase. Okay, so I'm going to cut this over to this first hole. Here we go is nothing. Speak now or forget it. And we'll tie the string across and see what we got. I'm going to get rid of all that weight right there. Here we go. Okay, got them all cut off. <clears throat> I'll probably trim a little bit more. Round them up a little bit, get a little extra more weight off of them. <clears throat> then I'll tie the string through here and see how that ups the speed. But this is what I got rid of. These two big chunks of leather right here. So it should speed my arrow up some. We'll see. Okay, I trimmed the corner off these and uh, I'm going to get me a new string and tie all this together and cinch it across. We'll put it on the chronograph, see what we got. One thing I did notice on this is it's put it quite a bit closer to the riser, so it's probably going to give even more sling, string slap. But uh, anyway, we'll deal with that at another time. I'm just trying to speed it up, see what this does. So two things this thing has done. I don't know if I lighten this up, but I've also shortened uh, shortened it, so there's more tension in the bands. So this may be double wonderful. We'll see. error dang it okay i'm at 60 frames now and the ev setting was zero now it's minus one so uh we'll see if we can not get an error this time sweet 131 that's awesome Let's see if i can pull this up here it is, 450 grain arrow, 131 feet per second, calculate, 17 foot pounds. I read an article several years ago about it takes nine pounds of pressure for a knife, and I don't know what size knife, but a knife to penetrate the body cavity. And so we're eight pounds over that. And it's definitely higher. It was shooting about three inches high at 10 yards. And now it's like five or six inches high. Well, that really made a difference. We went from 124-ish to, uh, we added seven feet per second. So let's see what that does at other yardage. Just about 131 feet per second. I'm pleased with that. So this thing is loosened up quite a bit and it already shot 131 feet per second. So I'm gonna tighten it back down, shorten this a little bit and uh, we may get up 135, maybe even 140. We'll see. All right, tighten it up. Let's see what this gives us speed-wise. Duplicate, 131. Kept it the same. It's definitely got the loud slap, though. I might be able to change all this up and switch it out but that 131 I am absolutely happy with because that's going to give us flatter trajectory um, out of 20 yards okay we're hitting about three inches high at 10 let's see where we are at 15 or 20 yards I've sighted in for 15 so dropping about five inches where it was dropping about seven I had some big flat washers up there and my slingshots were moving around too much so I took them off and, and it also pulled it farther away from the riser maybe I won't get as much string slap could have changed the impact we'll see where it's going 
20 yards. So I'll, uh, it's not sighted in now because I changed some stuff on it, but we'll, uh, looks like my elevation's good though. Dropped about three inches. Went well, dead on at 15. I'm going to sight him with a different arrow. I don't know where this is going. It's uh, The other one's kicking up here in the front for some reason. Yeah, everything's still right. Two, 135, sweet. Okay, we're at 15 yards. Just trying to slide in now. And checking for air flight. I'll look at that later. I'm gonna cut these down and uh, get them out of the way and then finish sighting it in. Okay. Pick it up one. Try to zero for 15 yards. Man, it is shooting so much faster. That's about two inches high. All right, we came down 24 clicks on the scope itself. We'll see what that does. 15 yards. I like it. Coming down eight more clicks. Something else I noticed was getting about eight inches of penetration. We're getting about seven before. Okay, 15 yards. Zero and in. There you go. That punched the yellow out. All right, let's go back to 20 and see what the drop is. Yep, that's on. All right, 20 yards. I'm gonna shoot this. Shoot this here. Perfect. Drops about three to four inches. Left and right, perfect. Okay, I'm just looking for arrow drop at uh, 25 yards. I'm just going to aim top center of the target, see how far it drops. Probably 16 inches, 18 inches maybe. It's over a foot. Yeah, probably about 16 inches. But left and right's perfect. There you go. Okay, so I was aiming right here, dead center. All right, that's nine inches. 14 inches drops 14 really about the height of a deer's body small deer about 15 inches actually mm -hmm. there you go there. okay I put these uh, silencer pads back on here for the uh, string and band slap since I've lightened these up, I, they may have a little better effect. We'll see. It's not sighted in for this arrow, but I'm just going to listen to the sound, see what we got. In some ways, it's almost louder. I don't know how to describe that. 
Anyway, I'll listen to it on the computer, see what that perceived is. But it may not matter. Accuracy is pretty good. Different arrow. I call that dead. Okay, here's without the silencers. Just to compare. Hit the exact same spot. I don't think it was any less or any more. There you go.